Hello friends, welcome to Brain Amplifier and in this video we'll try to understand the principle of rotating magnetic field, how those are created in a rotating, ma rotating machines. So to start with we'll uh, first understand this diagram. This is my rotor. Okay, this is my stator. Okay, so in the rotor the field windings uh, have been done in this fashion that is uh, my current is coming out from here and going in here that is current is going in the direction of these my fingers okay like this 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 this, this. i suggest you watch my video on rotor um, windings and stator windings to understand these things better okay so if my current is going in this direction in the direction of my fingers if my current is going in the direction of my fingers then my thumb will be directing towards the direction of my field lines okay and in the direction of thumb the flux density will be maximum okay and same will, the, will it be the direction of uh, mmf if i ignore the stasis losses the direction of mmf will be same as the direction of my flux density okay now please understand one thing emf induced in these windings uh, that is the windings of my stator will be maximum when these windings will be laid in the direction of maximum flux density okay what does that mean okay suppose uh, if uh, i am in the direction of uh, that has been shown in the figure okay this is my rotor flux density position at this moment my phase a that is a and a dash windings have been kept in the maximum flux density position because the direction of my maximum flux density is like this pointing towards upward so it will be creating at n here and an s here okay it is simply working as an inductor coil okay so in the, this inductor coil if the current is in this direction n will be created here and s will be created here so at this position uh, the flux density will be maximum in this direction so amf induced will be maximum in a and a dash if i rotate uh, my rotor further 60 degree okay at this now n will be coming here s will be coming here so at this uh, position the emf induced will be maximum in this c and c dash okay if i further rotate it 60 degree well the b and b dash will be coming in the influence of maximum flux density so emf induced will be maximum in b and b dash okay now if the case is as shown in the figure emf induced will be maximum in a and a dash okay so the current flowing in a and a dash will be maximum the direction of current will be dot here and cross here that you can find out by the lange's law okay so if the direction of current is like this okay dot here cross here then the axis of phase a will be in the direction of my thumb that is the direction of mmf or you can call it induced MMF induced MMF or you can call it the direction of magnetic flux due to the current in phase A will be in the direction of my thumb that is in this direction okay that is my flux lines magnetic field lines will be going from here to here in this direction in the direction of the point of my tip of my pen okay now due to this the poles n and s will be created like this because the field lines go from n to s okay and lines are going like this so n will be created here s will be created created here understand one thing my rotor behaves like this while my stator behaves like this okay in the rotor my field lines are outside okay so they go uh, the n created in the here and as created here while in the stator my field lines are inside the stator so it behaves like a magnet uh, which has been banded like this so um, the field lines will if, if the field lines are in this direction my n will be created here and s will be created here uh, so similarly n is created here s is created here okay if i rotated 60 degree okay <clears throat> okay if uh, i assume the direction of current like this in this B phase that is 120 degree apart from A phase the direction of current is like this so the axis of B phase will be if I curl the finger in the direction of current axis of B phase will be in the direction of my thumb curl the finger in the direction of current in B phase my thumb will be showing 
this direction that is this is the axis of phase b or the direction of mmf due to the current in phase b similarly for c phase if i curl my fingers in the direction of current in c phase my thumb will be showing me the direction of mmf due to this current in the c phase okay okay now what i have done i have given three different currents in these three windings in these three phases six windings i have given three currents these three currents are 120 degree apart in phase and this is creating a magic kind of thing that is how it is creating a magic in the form of rotating magnetic field see this graph this is my phase a or you can call them them r by b phases or i am calling them a b and c okay the a phase is starting from here and going sinusoidally these are alternating these three phases are alternating as well as 120 degree apart these two phenomena are creating magic okay what does this alternating mean see uh, uh, if uh, this is the direction of mmf for a phase a at some point uh, when the current is maximum in phase a this will be the direction okay when this current is decreasing 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 the magnitude of this will be decreased and that is it will decrease 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 at this point it will come out to be zero now this uh, a phase will is increasing in the reverse direction so what will happen this arrow will be increasing in the reverse direction this is this 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 this, this, this like this okay so at this moment of time this uh, axis of phase a will be like this it will be reversed okay these are two different notation this is vector vector vectorial notation this is graphical notation uh, these are same okay more or less okay my a phase started from here 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 after 120 degree my b phase started and after again 120 degree my c phase started Okay. these three phases are 120 degree apart now if I want to find out the resultant MMF keep one more thing in your mind for balanced polyphase currents flowing in a polyphase winding the peak value of the resultant MMF wave is along that phase axis which carries the maximum current read it again I have a balanced polyphase current system. I have three currents, 120 degree apart, so they, they are balanced, flowing in the polyphase windings, three phase winding. The peak value of the resultant MMF wave is, is along that phase axis, which carries the maximum current. Now, what does that mean? Is the MMF, the resultant MMF, due to these three A, B, C windings, will be in the direction of MMF of that phase which is carrying the maximum current so i will take different points and try to find out the resultant mmf at different points so if i take this point my r phase is carrying current in the positive direction the positive negative are resultant no oh, sorry uh, relative uh, these directions i have i'm assuming positive and opposite to them i'll assume negative that is uh, for r the negative will be in this direction okay for y my negative will be in this direction for b my negative will be in this direction okay so at this position my r carrying positive direction my current in positive direction that is in this direction my y is also carrying uh, current in positive direction for y this is the positive direction but my b is carrying maximum current but in negative direction so this is positive for b this will be the negative so the direction of b will be negative so the resultant direction due to these three will be coming somewhat like this okay uh, the resultant due to these three will be coming somewhat like this now what we have just told that the direction of the resultant mmf due to these three mmfs will be in the direction of the MMF of that phase which is carrying the maximum current in this case the blue phase is carrying maximum current though so the direction of the resultant MMF will be in the direction of MMF of blue phase that you can see here if I say take this position okay 
my R phase is carrying current in the positive direction. That is positive is this for R. Okay. My Y and blue are carrying neg uh, current in negative direction. The negative for Y is this and negative for blue is like this. Y negative, blue negative. So the resultant of these three will be coming in somewhat in this direction. Okay. In this direction. Again, we are seeing that the direction of the resultant MMF here the R phase is carrying sorry A phase is carrying the maximum current. So the direction of the resultant MMF is in the direction of A phase that is in the direction of that phase which is carrying the maximum current. If I see at this position my R and blue are uh, carrying current in the positive direction that is positive and positive positive and positive I yellow is carrying current in the negative direction that is negative for yellow is this direction so the resultant is somewhat like this resultant is somewhat like this again we are seeing that uh, y phase is carrying the maximum current so the direction of the resultant mmf is in the direction of that phase which is carrying the maximum current okay. Uh, we can uh, if we take the same thing at different points we are seeing that uh, we can you can check out the uh, direction of the mmf is uh, in these directions resultant mmf so what we are seeing that at uh, th this position the direction of induced uh, the direction of mmf resultant mmf is like this okay then this goes like this then this goes like this then this goes like this then this 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 if you take it uh, more at uh, some closer points you will find the points closer so what you are seeing that the resultant mmf is creating this rotation that is it is similar to i have a magnetic field in this air gap and the resultant of that magnetic field is creating a rotational effect that is when i am giving three different currents which are alternating and as well as which uh, which are 120 degree apart from each other they will the resultant of those three the the resultant of mmf due to those three currents that is the resultant of the magnetic fields created by these three currents will be creating a rotational effect that is at some point it will be like this as these uh, currents are alternating the magnetic flux will also be alternating so at some point will be like this like this like this like this like this like this so what we are getting we are getting a rotating magnetic field so if you also want to find out the magnitude of that uh, mmf the resultant mmf will be 3 by 2 fm that is the uh, 3 by 2 of the maximum mmf if my number of phases are m okay here i have three phases so i can replace m with three m times two root two upon pi kw that is winding factor n ph i upon p number of poles so what we are seeing here that the resultant mmf is dependent on my stator current so if i increase the current i'll uh, the mmf will be increased that is my these n and s poles will be more stronger okay what you are seeing here when this magnetic field is rotating these ns poles are also rotating that is my n will be going in going 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 in this direction okay these this n and s will also be rotating okay so in a synchronous alternator if i increase the load that is if i increase the stator current my mmf will become more stronger okay hope you have understood the concept of rotating magnetic field if you like the video Please give it thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.